Well, welcome back, everyone. We are now joined by Carrie Rogers from Curvy Birdies, and um, we've got some beautiful birdhouses yes, that you, you have designed and crafted. My husband and I have, yes. He's actually the mastermind behind all of the shapes. Okay. Um, and when he first started doing them, he made me one for my birthday one year, and of course with social media, I put it out there and everybody's like, you should build those. So he started making them, just filled my kitchen table, and I was like, what are we doing with these? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't know, people said I should build them. So, <laughs> so I just did. So he did. So I signed up for the craft show, and that was our first year. And then he goes, we should make a family. You could come out and paint. And that was about six years ago, and every once in a while I go, how do you feel about that he's like I don't know if that was smart or not but we are one of those crafters that we want to make money yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah, yeah. We, mm -hmm. this is our side gig has turned into a very very nice business that's yeah. great so, yeah okay the fun. bird houses let's take a yes. look at those talk us through kind of the steps the creation of these and then maybe the uh, other products you have as well um these are the only products we have just birdhouses. Okay. Just birdhouses. Well, we do have a, some, a little feeder also, oh, okay, but gotcha. that's it. Um, we decided we wanted to be just a one-man band, if you will. Mm -hmm. So when they come in, they know what they're getting. We have birdhouses. So, um, I, like I said, my husband has created all the designs. Um, our oldest son is an artist, so he has sat down with me and figured out a few ideas for paint jobs. And so that's been fun to sit down and create with him. He's 23. Oh, yeah. He's not like he's seven. <laughs> <laughs> Your seven-year-old does a great yeah. job. I know, right? Yeah, no, he's in his 20s. Um, and we really have reached a point where we're pretty much mass production. Mm -hmm. So he's such a uh, he's really thoughtful about streamlining things. Mm -hmm. So he'll sit down, like he hand makes these shingles, and he'll cut enough to do 50 birdhouses at once. Uh -huh. So that's kind of how we, since we, since it is a business, and we both still work and have other things, yeah. we've done our best to keep it as streamlined as possible. So yeah, and they are made to live outside. People ask that a lot. They're like, it's mm -hmm. too pretty to put out. But we use oil-based stain on the shingles, so it will help repel water. We do a water sealant on everything. And to, um, I'm sorry if I turn this around. No, no go for to it. To the yeah. birdie people, let me see, we're on this camera right here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, to the birdie people, you have to have a clean out door yeah. because when they nest, they don't want to re-nest in a dirty home. Uh-huh. So, um, That's yeah. smart. Super easy to clean out. Is it just oh. screws, Phillips screws? Yep, just two off? teeny okay. little, small, uh, sh short little screws. Do you have, um, do you and your son have a theme when you go into like designing or? Not really. You just kind of go? Not really, just kind of what we think. We, um, I, I will say this year, we love to do the Utopia Craft Show because we've come up with new um, designs every year. We mm -hmm. like to kind of, that's like our, since we live in Ozark, we love to support local. We want to be a part of that. So it's kind of like our place we showcase new ones. So we do have some new ones. We've done a, uh, a wildflower theme this year. Ooh. So we have a few we're finishing up for that and also um, some psychedelic ones. So Very black, cool. like neon paint. So Oh yeah. yeah. Just whatever pops in our brain. I just love the colors. If we can get some more close ups of these because they're so pretty. Like I just, I've been talking to you not paying attention but I was like, the colors are <laughs> vibrant. Know. The shapes, it's very whimsical. Yes. Like you think of birdhouses having that traditional house shape. To me that would be the most challenging part is creating those curves and those lines and then bringing it to fruition like this. Like I don't, that is yes. just, Yes. Mind-boggling to me, because mm -hmm. there's takes so much skill. Yes. Like, they look whimsical, but it takes a lot of skill to get it to look like this. Well, my husband is very creative. Um, he also builds electric guitars, so he <gasps> understands shapes and all the mm. things. So, yeah. Oh, wow. They've been very easy for him to design. Mm -hmm. This little shape actually came out of the negative of the wood. So, he had this shape, mm -hmm. and when he... Uh, was throwing away the the scraps. He held it up, and I was like, oh, "Stop! Stop! Stop!" <laughs> wow, like, that needs to be a shape. So yeah, that that's so awesome. Precious. Thank you. Do you recommend hanging this from a front porch, from a tree, from what, what is the ideal so, location? So the ideal location, because they are made for small birds. So you want to hang it anywhere between three and five feet. Okay. Um, and we do recommend that you have it out of the weather a little bit. Uh -huh. um, if it's in direct weather, we absolutely recommend that you pull it in through the winter, give it another coat of like a water sealant before you hang it out again. Mm -hmm. um, but under the tree, we have one, we have like five or six on our property just to see how yeah. they weather. Um, the best one that we get most nesting in hangs from a shepherd's hook just right in front of our house. Oh, so, very yeah, nice. So you can do a shepherd's hook in your garden. You can hang it from a tree. It will also, it doesn't look like it, but it will hang flat against like a fence post or oh, a fence Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so um, lots Well, that's of better ways. than my, I have bird's nest. This, this spring and fall I've had birds 
in my hanging fern baskets yes. and on the wreath on my front porch. Yes. They oh, will yeah. find any place, any place to nest, and yeah. they have done it. I'm like, then you can't get rid I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm like, well, you're there not. for now. Right. Yeah. Right. Until you have your babies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That fern I just bought. I yeah. just bought, and now there's birds everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But this is so much better to have their, their own little proper house. Yeah, a little proper a little proper house. Proper property. Proper property. <laughs> Curvy birdies. So do you have a, a place that people can go if they can't make it to the craft fair that they can get these? Yes. We have a website and it is curvybirdies.com. We're also on Facebook and also Instagram and also Etsy under the same name. Nice. So and Curvy Birdies. I was curious if someone wanted to, like you have these cute little welcome mats. Yes. Could you possibly personalize, personalize yes. it? Like, yes. welcome to, you mm -hmm. know, yep. Jeremy Raves or yeah. welcome we to Jeremy yeah. And we'll put them on the, the, we call it the porthole, the little round opening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh -huh. we'll do them. We did one that was for a German grandmother, and she wanted to name it her hideaway, but she did it all in German. Oh, so, yes. very so we cute. We absolutely love personalizing. It's a fun. We don't have the ability to do that at the craft show right. yet. We're working right. on that. Um, but yes, if you do on, on through our website or Etsy, you can absolutely request um, personalization. Awesome. So, yeah. And one so more time, cool. remind the viewers about the craft festival happening this weekend. Times, dates, places, everywhere they need to know. Friday and Saturday from 9 till 6 and Sunday from 9 till 4 at the Finley River Park in Ozark. See, free parking. Free, free parking. parking. That is important. <laughs> and what I see is like Maddie, great idea, Christmas gifts. I know. Christmas shopping. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're yep. all in. Thank yeah. you ladies so much for being Thank here. You. Hey, have fun this weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. Come see us. Hope you make a lot of money. Thank you. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM after this. I don't know why my crocheted items were not selling for $150. I don't. I don't